Hey guys, back for part two about these uh, pendants here. Now I've gone ahead and stuck all the bales on, as you can see, there. And um, yeah, all that's needed now is the uh, the necklace cord. So I've got in the mail some wax cord coming, and I'll be out of time the way I've done uh, this one here, and you can actually adjust it when you wear it. So if you want it tighter, you can have it tighter, looser, you can have it looser. So this is the end result, this is what they look like on the back. But this is the one I've been wearing, and um, I'll just grab one and show you what... Um, what these ones come up like. You've seen the part one, they were not looking like this. That's completely smooth um, surface there. As you can see, all the rough edges around the sides, sorry about not focusing, all the rough edges around the sides completely gone and it's all rounded off. So it's not going to irritate your skin as well uh, on the silver there. You know, it's nice and shiny. All the bubbles and um, imperfections, they're all gone. So I've rubbed them right back and polished them right up nice. So that's that's stuck on now. So it's ready to be a necklace. That's complete. And, uh, yeah, so very nice stuff. Now, all I had to do uh, to stick the bales on, so this is what they are. And there, that, that's what they're called, the bales. So if you get these, and um, you obviously put the glue in there where it's uh, textured there. And um, this is the glue that I use. So this is an epoxy glue. It comes in two parts and you mix it together. So um, it's very strong stuff, supposedly um, 75 kilos in strength it can hold up to. But um, yeah, and it's five minutes working time. So you've got to be quick. So I actually did three little piles to um, do this. And I only just did them. And you can see this stuff here is like, yeah, she's hard. So yeah. So you've got to be fairly quick. And um, as well, I just had this spare necklace here from another pendant. And I the um, the cord came out of these little metal holders here. So I had to just re-glue that. So that'll be um, maybe a gift for someone or maybe for my girlfriend. She might choose to wear one of these. If she does, she can knock herself out. This one here, um, very pretty. I like that one. It's got everything you need in there. You've got your hematite, you've got your clear quartz, you've got your carnelian, your amethyst, and your... Um, Adventuring, I always get stuck on them, but that's the green stone. Um, looking sweet. Um, yeah, so in my opinion, these here are made properly. These are proper made organite pendants due to the fact that I use powders in there. That there is all aluminium powders. There's uh, a few brass and aluminium little needle uh, metals in there on the top. Just basically that's my glitter in there. So it's actually functional, um, gives it a bit of sparkle through there. And on the back it's just loaded with that. So it's very, very fine little needle uh, size stuff. And then, yeah, obviously you've got your powder, which works awesomely. You've got your always your copper coils. Now that there's a proper piece of clear quartz and it's wrapped in that there. So, yeah. Um, and the other ones have uh, copper coils. So I made three that are similar to that with the big quartz and it's wrapped like that. All the others have copper coils. Now some of them have embedded within them, as you can see right there, it embeds within the, um, the aluminium powder and some do not, like these ones. Now it doesn't matter, it's still going to um, direction, it's going to throw the energy into the wearer when you wear this. Um, but um, my theory is when it's embedded within the, um, the metals itself, in the organite substrate, which is the metal powders and the resin, um, I think it's going to amplify the effect because um, these here work, Organite works um, by, um, what's the name, the Casimir effect. When metals are so close to each other and they're within an organic substance like the resin, they're so close because I mix it, the powder in with the resin. So the particles of the, the metal are so close together but there's resin within between them uh, on a very small scale. So that's actually creating electricity right there. Now when you've got a rod in there as well, the copper coil, picking up that energy, it's going to just throw it and amplify it, so it's going to chuck it straight back at the wearer. That's my theory, and um, it's a very legit thing. So the Casimir effect, you should look that up if you don't know what it is, like I explained it very briefly. And um, yeah, they also work with um, uh, piezoelectric as well, with um, the, resin, the crystals within the resin, because the resin, when it hardens, it actually shrinks, and it squeezes on the crystals. So and this here generates um, a lot more electricity, a lot more of the scalar wave or organ energy or life force, chi, mana, prana, all that stuff. It's all the same sort of energy, zero point energy, whatever. Like that's the resin, the hardening effect on all the crystals, all of them. So it generates enough electricity in on itself by doing that, you know. 
And that's how Organite works. And it actually attracts these bad um, energies and actually amplifies it and throws out all the good positive, the POR, or um, positive orgone, as named by um, Dr. Wilhelm Reich. So you've got, you got POR, positive orgone energy, and DOR, which is deadly orgone energy. And your deadly stuff's from your EMFs, your Wi-Fi, your cell phone towers. Anything electrical that man has made basically is, is uh, deadly, and it interrupts um, all of our cells within our body. And that's why people get um, headaches, and they get sick, and they don't even know. They might be sensitive to just Wi-Fi in general or anywhere, their cell phone. The cell phone towers everywhere, you cannot escape it. Where this here takes that bad stuff and restructures it and makes it more harm and harmonizing uh, with the body so it doesn't cause that problem. You know, things like insomnia and all that. Like, if people leave their Wi-Fi's on, just turn them off. Uh, people that have smart meters um, connected to their house, you know, that's doing all the same thing. It's, they're getting bombarded. It's an energy warfare out there. Um, yeah, so all these help. All these will protect you and make it harmonizing so that it's less damaging, less effective to your body. The less you'll notice it, the more um, healing can happen, the more you can sleep and get into a deep sleep. These here will make you have vivid dreams. Um, I've experienced that, I know. These here will also help things like plant growth. Um, if you had two identical trees or plants, whatever, in the same pot, same age, same uh, species of plant, you put, say, one of these pendants or one of these here in the pot plant and separate them. There's a little bit of space between them. The one with the organite, I guarantee you, will have more growth, will be more healthier, and um, and that's just how it is. Or if it's a fruit tree, you'll get more yield, bigger yield. Uh, and that's just how it works. As well, your chemtrails. Now, um... Chemtrails, we're getting bombarded with chemtrails. We're getting sprayed like bugs, literally. Um, you see a plane, and it's spraying uh, this stuff out the back. It's not a contrail anymore because they disappear every time. Uh, well, just in a short few seconds behind it, you you know, they disappear. But chemtrails, they stay in the air for a long time, and they become um, basically clouds in on themselves, but they're spraying less with chemicals. And you'll see this really ripple effect in the clouds and they start to form different clouds. Now they've got the machine called HARP. I believe it's H R R A P. Now they are actually manipulating the weather, believe it or not. If you don't don't know anything about it, then look into it. Um, you'll be amazed uh, with all the stuff. Now this stuff here is something that can help. By putting out some of these pyramids, stuff like this, I'll just uh, get a better picture of it. Um, yeah, you can see how the way these copper coils are, that I've just got a designer that's throwing the energy straight up and straight out. Now, supposedly, they grab hold, they throw out these scalar waves in a vortex. So, supposedly, they can um, clean up all this junk and basically uh, propel it out into space or in the upper, upper atmosphere where it does not harm us. So, it actually cleans up the sky, cleans up the environment. Um, the weather, in general, can be just be happier, healthier. Or, or if you put these things... Um, within places that um, haven't seen rain in quite a while. It'll actually balance out the weather and bring rain to that area. There's a lot of information um, on this stuff and how it all works. And it's a very real uh, phenomenon and, you know, it's just been discovered by um, Dr. Wilhelm Reich, like I said. Now, the creator of Organite itself, this is Organite, obviously, um, that is um, Carl Wells. Now, he created this this way here. Now, um, Wilhelm Wright created um, his accumulators. Now, he made boxes of um, layered materials like organic and inorganic, organic, inorganic. So the inorganic was metals, and the organic would have been like sheep's wool or beeswax or something, anything, it doesn't matter. And he sat people within these boxes that he made, and he was curing all sorts of diseases, now in um, including cancer, okay? Now, uh, the authorities didn't like that, and they called him basically a quack, threw him in jail, thought it was nonsense. But he proved, absolutely proved, 100%, that this organ energy exists, or scalar waves, or, yeah, just scalar energy, zero-point energy, chi, mana, prana, life force, the consciousness energy. It exists. He proved it. They didn't like that, because there's no um, money in healthy people. So, And he was giving it to them for free. He was healing for free. It wasn't costing them anything or anything. He was just out to um, basically fix people. Um, and to yeah, just see how... Um, yeah, just to do things that's supposed to be done. We live in a sick world. But um, that's not the only thing he did. He actually... Um, they've been uh, geoengineering. That's another word for your chemtrails. Geoengineering. 
So the government's actually come out and said that this is what they're doing. They are spraying us. That's a real thing. Everything I've said is a real thing. You can look it up. Um, but uh, Carl, I mean, uh, Wilhelm Reich actually made this cloud buster or um, this big thing. It kind of looked like a Gatling gun with like a big, big sort of organite. Um, it was grounded into water. Um, and it, yeah, it kind of looked like a Gatling gun with these big copper pipes out of these big ass organite, basically. And uh, he, he was getting um, it to rain in the places that has not seen rain for 10 years. And he did this time and time again. And he was getting, he got paid by um, a few people. Like, if they could um, bring rain to this area, if he could do that, he'd get paid. And he did. And time and time again. So the authorities just didn't like that. They locked him away in jail. And just before he um, was due to be released, he um, died of a heart attack mysteriously. So, yeah. I went off. On uh, this here, this is a video about the pendants, but uh, that's my little rant. So this is basically why I get into this stuff. I'm interested in healing and um, just basically protecting us because we are getting bombarded, and that's just how it is. So yeah, there's a uh, there's a gifting movement as well where people are making these nowhere near as pretty. They're just doing them, um, not getting clear resin, but just um, your cheapest resin you can get, throwing some crystals in it, throwing copper coil in it, and getting a heap of the uh, metal shavings. Now, finer the better, but you can use anything really, as long as they're not big things like washers or pennies or anything. They have to be small, small little little shavings, okay? And they're going around gifting. They're laying them or burying them around cell phone towers and actually changing because um, the cell phone towers are emitting these de uh, DOR, the deadly organ energy. By placing a few of these around, burying them or chucking them in fields where they are or whatever, it doesn't have to be right there. You can get it in the general direction and just throw them at it or whatever. But uh, it's changing. Instead of emitting bad, these things are grabbing that energy, transmuting it, and it's, and it's becoming a lot more harmonizing. Okay. So you can look into that too. Uh, it's called organite gifting. And uh, yeah, I think I've ranted on long enough. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. There's more videos to come. We will be selling these eventually. Um, so I make these here for basically beauty and function. And uh, powders is the way to go. Um, Carl Wells as well says the finer the metal, metal the better. The more powerful, okay? That's from the, you know, the horse's mouth, the, the creator. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.